All right, guys. Um, I wish I was there. I'm so sorry. Um, but I have strep and COVID, so fun. Um, since there's no proofs on the test, keep in mind that it's going to be on 8182 and 85. <clears throat> and those that part's going to be on Wednesday. Um, and then there's going to be some Chapter 7 stuff on Friday. So just some things to keep in mind. Um, 8-1, make sure you guys know about the geometric mean, how to cross multiply. 8-2, um, keep in mind that that orange piece that I circled is the key. It tells you what sides are proportionate, okay? Um, but I'm focusing on 8-5 because I feel like a lot of the questions on Wednesday's test came from 8-5. <clears throat> so the side splitter theorem says that if these sides are parallel and cut through a triangle, um, you know that the, the pieces are proportionate. So that means that this piece and this piece are proportionate. So you can put the pink piece over the pink piece, and that proportion has to equal the blue piece over the blue piece, and that proportion has to equal the green piece over the green piece, and that proportion has to equal the whole thing over the whole thing. So those proportions have to be the same. For example, um, if I told you this pink piece was four and this pink piece was eight, I'm using easy numbers, and I told you the blue piece was three, you could very easily plug this in. Four over eight equals three over x. Cross multiply, and you come out with my x being six. Now, some of you, obviously, these are easy numbers, so you can see that the right side of the triangle is just twice as big as the left side. So again, let's say I told you guys that this entire um, <clears throat> orange piece was 12. So if the left entire orange side is 12, again, I can set up my proportion. So pink over pink equals orange over orange. I'll call that Y. Um, and you cross multiply. So y should equal 5, so 10, um, let's see, 125, 24. So that means the entire orange piece on the right side has to be 24. Okay, um, and then of course you'd know that this green piece is 5, so this green piece is 10. Um, and then the second part of, this is old. The second part, <clears throat> sorry, I'm congested. The second part of 8.5 <clears throat> is um, the angle bisector. So if you have any kind of a triangle and you bisect the angle, okay? So if BD bisects um, angle ABC, so that angle is getting bisected. What happens is it splits the triangle proportionately. So that means that that blue piece over the blue piece is going to equal the pink piece over the pink piece. So for example, if this is four and this is eight and this is five, um, and I wanted you to find this missing piece, you could literally do the blue over the blue, okay? The part of the hypotenuse kind of looking thing over the leg looking thing is equal to the pink over the pink. Um, if you cross multiply, you get 40 is equal to 4x, and then you'll find out that x has to be 10. Again, you can see that those sides are proportionate. So that is the side splitter theorem. I hope that this little informative video helps you guys with um, review for Wednesday's test. Miss you guys.